School districts all across our region are continuing to come up with policies as to how they should handle masks in the classroom this upcoming school year. It all comes as one expert group has released new guidance on how to handle the subject. On Sunday, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommended all staff and students ages 2 and up wear masks inside school buildings unless they have a medical or developmental reason not to. The Academy said Americans should remember not all schools have the resources needed to monitor the vaccination status of their students. Locally, both D.C. and Montgomery County Public Schools say they will require students and staff to wear masks, something Prince George's County Schools currently mandates in its buildings. We talked to Washington County Public Schools. They say they will begin the school year by following whatever the governor's executive orders are at the time. Meanwhile, in Virginia, Fairfax County Schools say they're considering having all students and staff wear masks, but as of right now, they don't expect a firm decision on that until at least next week. Most parents and students we talk to support wearing masks in the classroom. Because the coronavirus is increasing also here now. Masks are quite uncomfortable, but I will do it to protect my fellow students. But some parents add some students have different needs. We have a young son who is on the um, spectrum for autism and and um, his needs, his ability to communicate and to understand teachers, we need flexibility. John Henry, WUSA 